Donald Trump fueling North Korea crisis says Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton said US President Donald Trump is a danger to America and to the world, and doesn't have the temperament to be at the helm at one of the world's largest superpowers. Mrs Clinton said in an interview with the French Daily Le Monde, I think Mr Trump poses a clear and present danger to America and to the world because he wasn't ready to become president. He doesn't have the right temperament nor the right leadership skills to be a head of state. His actions have deeply divided America and its allies. He has injected instability and unpredictability into international affairs. I personally think he is more dangerous than he is helpless. The President of the United States has a lot of power, he can scrap regulations and deliver dangerous speeches, just like Mr Trump's first speech to the United National General Assembly last week. Mr Trump's UN speech was dark, dangerous and selfish. He has stripped the US of its moral duty as one of the world's most powerful nations, of all policy and of all strategy. He is fueling unnecessary disputes. His harsh words for Iran could trigger a second nuclear crisis, on top of the ongoing North Korean crisis. Mrs Clinton also accused the Trump administration of pulling America backwards. She said, they've pulled the US out of the landmark Paris climate agreement, and are now threatening to pull the US out of the Iran nuclear deal. Warning scraping the 2015 agreement to curb Iran's nuclear program would be a disaster. Mrs Clinton, who served as President Barack Obama's Secretary of State between 2009 and 2013, added Mr Trump's infamous campaign slogan Make America Great Again evoked nostalgia and was directed at white voters. She said, make America great again basically means, let's go back to a time when whites didn't have to compete against black people, immigrants, and women. Mrs Clinton lost the presidential election to Mr Trump last year despite winning the popular vote after she failed to secure enough electoral votes.